Hello. Hi. Welcome to my couch and my spoiled dog who won't move out of my seat. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another Wax Wednesday. Um, this is going to be a totally disgustingly huge haul because I just simply can't help myself. I have so much. I could literally go through my entire life and never get through my stash. And then I go and do something like this. I do actually have one of the candles right here that I picked up earlier tonight actually at Target. Um, and I will kind of talk about that for just a quick second. But other than that, this video is going to be pretty much everything new. Um, for spring and summer at like Target, Walmart, uh, things like that. So stores, retail stores and very inexpensive, which is awesome. Okay, so real quick before we even dive in, let's start with the candles because I don't actually have that many. Um, this was really like a super wax heavy haul. Um, so I'm going to pan you up to see this really, really quick. This candle ugh, I picked up from Target. Um, and this one is one of the Chesapeake Bay candles. And it's in the scent Almond Macaroon. I don't know. I've never burned one of these before. This is actually the first one that I've ever burned. And I lit it about an hour, hour and a half ago. It still has not reached a full wax pool, which is normal for candles, especially these fluted like... <laughs> <laughs> especially the fluted style of um, candle holders just because it is wide at the top. So I'm not really like upset that it's not pulled out, but I still can't really smell it. So I'm hoping once the wax pulls out a little bit more that I'll be able to smell it more because the smell on cold is really nice. It's kind of like an almond biscotti. It's super, super yummy. Um, but so far I can't really smell much. I picked up four total. Um, this other one I picked up tonight actually is in the scent Chestnut Macchiato. So it looks like this. Um, this one smells just like that. It smells like a chestnut coffee. So I love coffee scents. I can't wait to try this and see if this one performs well because it smells really, really good on cold. Um, this next one here I have, this is Coconut Berry Bliss. This one is more of a light scent. So when I smell some of these, they're a lot stronger on cold. This one back here was very, very light. This one is too. This one is very uh, like creamy, definitely more of like a bakery coconut. It's not like a sunscreen coconut. It almost smells like a coconut like water, like a, like a drink, like a coconut water with berries in it. That's another one that I'm really excited to try for summer. And then this one I picked up tonight as well. This one I'm kind of torn on. Part of me really likes it and part of me is like, eh. But this one is in the scent Cactus Pear. And these are all one wick, by the way. This packaging right here is one wick. These are $6.99 at Target. Um, this one, I almost get a cucumber with this one. Um, kind of like a cucumber, cactus, uh, like aloe. Definitely more of like a fresh, like clean scent. Um, and the reason why I'm not 100% a fan of this is because when I first smelled it in Target, I didn't pick up the, <laughs> I didn't pick up the cucumber notes in this, but now that I have it, it reminds me of a foot cream that I have, which totally is weird, but that's, that's why. Um, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. And this last one here I picked up in the two wick tumbler uh, jars. These are, I believe, $9.99 at Target. And this one is in the scent Paradise Flower. This one by far is the strongest of all of these scents that I picked up on cold. So when I smell it, this smells like it's going to be a very strong candle, which I'm not opposed to. Look how long these wicks are, you guys. Like, they're <laughs> ridiculous. I did trim the wick on this, by the way. It's burning really well. I mean, as far as flame and everything goes so far, but I did have to trim the wick down super low. Oh, this smells so good. This smells like a tropical flower. I mean, it smells beachy. It smells like a mix of maybe like a hyacinth or a magnolia, tiare flower, something along those lines. It smells really, really good though. This is probably the one that I'm most excited about out of this whole entire uh, candle crew here. I'm telling you right now, this creature right here is the demon of all demons. He looks cute. He acts cute on camera. He's not cute. He is demonic. So I went into Bed Bath & Beyond today, which is something like I never do, ever, ever. I, I think I've been in that store a total of maybe three times in my entire life. Um, but I actually was going in there to scope out a couple Yankee Candle scents that my friend Anthony over at Candle Cafe um, was talking to me about the other day. We were kind of chatting back and forth on Instagram and he was talking about some of the new collections and I wanted to see if my Bed Bath & Beyond carried them, which they did and I did smell them out. And yes, naturally I have a longer wish list of candles, but I'm not buying any right now. 
right. I noticed that when I was there, they had a bunch of candles on clearance from Yankee and I was really excited because I have heard Anthony talk a lot about this particular scent and I found it in the three wick. So this is Yankee's, can Yankee's, huh? this is Yankee Candles uh, Tahitian Nights. This is what the label looks like. This is beautiful. Anthony, thank you for talking so highly about this because I really, really like it. Um, I don't know the actual notes on this right this moment. I would say it's borderline on the cologne masculine type of scent. There's definitely a note of like a cologne in there, like a shaving cream. But overall, it's definitely a very spa, like zen kind of scent. I think this will be really, really nice in either a bathroom or a bedroom or just like kind of in the spring to refresh and relax ignore Jack. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. So that was all the candles that I picked up. And now we have, um, roughly umpteenth million wax melts to talk about. So let's dive right into that. Okay. So like I said, all of these wax melts have come from Walmart period. Every single one of these wax melts are from Walmart. Um, and that is because I love Walmart wax melts. I love better homes and gardens. I love sensationals and I love the Yankee wax melts. Okay. So we're going to start off with the Yankee wax melts. Now these I've only ever seen at Walmart. Okay. So since I'm waving this around like a friggin' weapon, let's start with this one. This is an iconic scent from Yankee. This is in the scent pink sands. This is a very summery beachy kind of scent. It's beautiful. It's definitely a sunscreen scent. I mean, it's what it is. It's like a floral sunscreen. It's got the coconut. It's got the salty air. It's got the, the florals in there. I mean, there's, there's not much more to say than this is just a very sweet beachy kind of scent. Then I picked this up on Anthony's recommendation as well. Um, and this one is a new one in the scent Blush Bouquet. This I didn't think I was going to like when I first saw it because I thought it was going to have a lot of rose in there. And uh, surprisingly, there's really not a lot of rose in here. It might be just a hint of it, but it's definitely not an overpowering rose scent. It's not even a powdery scent. It's just a very nice neutral floral. I want to say it's got like carnation or like peony, just very, very nice, sweet florals. And yeah, excited for that one for spring. I picked up Coconut Beach, which is another iconic summer scent from Yankee. I love this, you guys. This is just a perfect coconut, vanilla, and pineapple scent. I mean, it's it's literally like a sophisticated pina colada. It's definitely not at all your stereotypical pina colada. It's, it's more elevated than that. It's super, super nice, and I really like that one. Uh, Sun and Sand, another iconic Yankee Candle summer scent. This one is super strong on cold. Crazy, crazy strong. This is another just really like driftwoody, beachy, salty, sandy type of scent. Um, again, not much to say about it other than it is like super, super beachy. Uh, by the way, I will be going through a lot of these things and doing like, designated burn reviews on them. So just because I'm flying through right now, don't think I'm just passing them off. I will touch base with all of these at some point in the future. But for now, I have so many that I just want to kind of roll through this or else this video will be an hour and a half long. This one is called Seaside Woods. Now, for me, me personally, this is not a summer scent. Now for everybody else, it probably is, but something in this wax melt, the scent, the fragrance of it, it triggers a core memory in my head from my childhood for some reason that associates this with Christmas. I could totally see how this is a summer scent though. It's very woody and sandalwood. It's got like a, a deep, deep masculinity to it, but not like a cologne. It's it's something so different. It's spicy. It's a very weird scent. I can understand why people wouldn't like it, but I personally love it. So I'm going to go through all of the Better Homes and Gardens melts that I picked up, which is a lot, a lot. These are only $2. Um, pretty much all of the wax melts that I'm gonna talk about from here on forward are here on forward. Is that even a phrase? It is now um, are $2 a piece at Walmart. So this one is part of the Better Homes and Gardens aromatherapy line. Autumn actually picked this one out and it's called Black Current and Bay. This is such an authentic scent. I love it. It literally smells like you cut up fresh black currants. Like you get the black currant, the tart of tart of it. Oh my God, I need to go to bed. You get the tartness of the black currant, but you also get like that green part of the stem. It's so authentic. Um, so this one is another limited edition one and this is the agave white tea. Now this one is super light. It's a very airy, like really, really subtle scent. It's really pretty. It definitely has the white tea uh, note. You can pick up the tea in there. Then we have Berry Mango Freeze, which literally smells like mango popsicles. That's, it smells like mango sorbet. That's exactly what it smells like. Nothing more to say. So this one is in the scent Pomelo. 
pomelo, 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 uh, pomelo nectar prosecco. Now I expected this to be just like a citrusy, effervescent kind of drinky scent, and it kind of is, but this has a very, very strong like body care slash perfume note in there now that I'm really, really smelling it, which is throwing me off because this is supposed to be something I want to drink and it smells like soap. <laughs> so I don't know how this is gonna work out, but we will uh, definitely check back and let you know. The next one here is super not authentic and I'm okay with that with this scent because I just love the scent. So this is the scent uh, Sugared Melon Kiwi. You cannot tell on this video at all. This is like highlighter yellow. It is so bright. Oh my God, but this smells so good. It, I'm usually one of those people that really likes authentic flavors when it comes to like food scents. This is not authentic whatsoever. This smells like watermelon bubblicious bubblegum. And again, I'm totally, totally okay with that. Um, Let's see, this next one, again, Autumn picked out. This is not something I would have ever chosen for myself until she handed it to me. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this smells really good. Um, this one is in the scent Warm Spring Sunshine. I'm not a floral person. I really don't like florals typically, but there are a very select few that I really love. And this is one of them. I have not melted this yet. I'm talking about Strictly On Cold. This one smells just like a warm, super, super sweet spring day. It's really pretty. I do feel like there's a fruit in here, whether it be a strawberry or a melon, there's something in here, fruitiness, which is I think why I like it so much. Um, the flowers in here are more of the sweet, like pink flowers. So like peony and sweet pea, things like that. I really, really like this. It is not a rosy powdery scent whatsoever. The next one I have, I actually picked up from my bathroom. I wanted something like super spa like and fresh. We have a cat, obviously you've seen Jack, um, he stinks so that being said, this is actually part of their core line. So this one doesn't like retire or disappear at all that I've noticed. And this one's in the scent Tranquil Garden Spa. It's what you would expect from like a spa fragrance. It's very, very laundry-ish, very fresh, very like clean linen, cotton kind of scent. Um, this next one, again, smells delicious. Not entirely authentic, but again, I'm okay with that. This one is Strawberry Pretzel Bars. Um, I, have a, I have two backups of this one. This smells more like strawberry jam. It's not like a fresh, fresh strawberry. This smells exactly like those old Lifesavers candies, like the mixed ones. It was called Strawberries and Cream or something. Um, that's exactly what this smells like with a hint of like a pretzel undernote. This is really, really yummy smelling and I cannot wait to get that going. Um, and this is White Tahitian Woods. This is beautiful. This reminds me a lot, a lot, a lot of the Coconut Beach from Yankee Candle. These are almost identical to each other, which is really nice because if you, you know, have this sell out at Walmart and you want to grab this or vice versa, you can do that. And they're pretty much the same scent. I really like both of these. This is again, just that coconut creaminess, vanilla with like a hint of pineapple in there. Really, really like this a lot, um, obviously, because I like Coconut Beach. So definitely glad I picked up a couple of those. This one is in the scent, just vanilla bean buttercream. It is limited edition. I picked up, I think, 10 of these, and I'm not even joking, because richest, most decadent, cakey, vanilla, deliciousness I have ever smelled. This is super, super strong too. I think this will be a great mixer with other things. I'm excited to see how that melts to see if it keeps its strength because that is glorious. I need to hurry this up. My legs are asleep and it hurts so bad. This is a scent that I am ridiculously excited to see come back. This came out either last year or the year before and they retired it. And I thought, oh my God, I lost out because I only bought one bar of it. So I was literally hoarding it for the entire time I had it. And then I saw it again this year and I literally bought like an entire plastic sleeve of these at the store. This is Meyer Lemon Basil by Better Homes and Gardens. Oh my God, thank you, Jesus. This is a lemon scent that doesn't smell like Pledge. Can I get an amen? This does not smell like a cleaner. This does not smell like a astringent, like acid, lemon scent at all. This smells like a fresh lemon was cut on a cutting board in your kitchen. Oh, I love it so much. Last but not least from Better Homes and Gardens, I think I'll have to look through the bag real quick and make sure I didn't miss a little straggler in there. Um, this one, if it melts with the strength that I think it's gonna have, this will become my number one favorite, holy grail, all time favorite summer scent. This one is Better Homes and Gardens by The Pool. Look at the color of this wax, you guys. 
you know I like the color mint. Um, this is this is sunscreen and i love sunscreen i love the scent of coconut and that salty beachy air and just the, the sunshine i love this <laughs> this smells like the essence of summer it's like you take all of the little bits and pieces of summer you throw it in a little clamshell and here it is i have i don't want to admit how many of these i have i bought a full sleeve again today because i have a problem Oh my god, if you've ever smelled Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess perfume, take away the perfume note of it, and what's left is this. That's how good it smells. I'm not going to dive into it anymore, or I'm going to talk about it all freaking day. So, I think that's all the Better Homes and Gardens. I'm going to take one more look through the bag, and then if that is the case, we will move on to Sensationals. Okay, I lied. We have one more Better Homes and Gardens, and this one is another one of my top favorites. Oh my god, my feet hurt so bad. They're both sleeping, and it hurts like hell. Um, this is Sage Leaf Aloe. I will purchase literally like 50 of these. I really will. I'm not even joking because this is one of the best clean, fresh, like spa scents I have ever smelled. Again, I'm not a big fan of that fresh linen, cotton, that kind of thing. I feel like they're too generic and they smell very soapy to me. This is completely, completely different. This one, if there were such a thing as capturing fresh air in a clamshell, it's this. It, it literally smells like your windows are open. You have that sweetness of like the grass growing and the flowers blooming. You get the warmth of the sunshine. You get the breeze coming through. That's what this smells like. I mean, that's literally it. It smells like everything fresh in one little package. It's so nice and it's pretty strong. Um, I would say if you're into like fresh, clean kind of scents, give this one a try because I feel like this one will be a favorite for many, many, many people. Okay, so the first one from Sensationals that I have is part of their like beach collection here. Um, and this one's in the scent Flamingo. And the scent notes on this say, strut your stuff. Thank you, Sensationals. What would I have ever done without those scent notes? So anyway, I'm gonna give you the notes that I smell because strut your stuff doesn't describe a damn thing. Kind of like a tropical fruity scent. I don't get a lot of coconut in this. I get more of like a citrus, like a grapefruit, like a mango, a papaya, guava, that kind of thing. I don't get a lot of like that saltiness or the sand or anything like that. It's just really a fruity, like a summery fruit scent, but it is really nice um, on a cold. This one Autumn picked out I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I really don't like it that much. Autumn really does, but I'm not gonna repurchase this one. This one's in the scent Girlfriend Night, and it says Bubbly Berry Bliss. I can I can get a little bit of that effervescence in there, um, a little bit of the berry, but it's not like an authentic fruit at all. This smells, this smells kind of like a body wash, like a like teenage girl, like super fizzy fun body wash. It's just it doesn't smell sophisticated whatsoever or anything like that. It smells very um, young and fresh and fun kind of a scent. So I wouldn't repurchase it. She really likes it. So I'll melt it for her. But after that, so this next one is in the scent Coral Shores. You guys, this smells so good. This one is definitely more floral, whereas Flamingo was more of a fruity, like summery scent. This one's definitely more of a floral, like a warm solar floral scent like orange blossom, maybe like a, I don't know, like a tiare flower. It's really pretty. This one does have notes of like that salty, breezy uh, ocean air to it. I really like this one. I have like a, like six or seven backups of that one because I really, really do like that one so far. This one took me by surprise in a good way. Autumn, again, pick this out and you'll see why when you see the packaging. This one's called a unicorn cake. Um, this, like I said, completely took me by surprise. When I saw this, I thought it's gonna be a Funfetti cake obviously unicorn cake colors funfetti whatever yes and no this has such a crazy twist to it that i was not expecting i have actually melted this before it's sitting over in my kitchen right now this is an exact mix of funfetti cake and fruity pebbles it's amazing this sucker is so friggin strong i had it in my warmer that's sitting on my entryway i have like a big very large split level home so the entry is very very wide and very open and i put two cubes in my warmer over there and it literally sent it up all of my upstairs and it even wandered down into my bedroom in the basement level i couldn't believe it this sucker is friggin strong but it's so so yummy and you get both of those like kind of notes you get that cakey note but you also get that very fruity like cereal note in there 
Oh, it's so good. I literally picked up like six more of these today after I already melted that because I wanted more and I'm not gonna be without that. I love that one so much. It is limited edition, so if you find it, grab it because that one's gonna go fast. Okay, I lied. There is one wax melt that you don't, you can't get at Walmart or Target or anything like that. But either way, you can probably find these, you know, at different outlets like that, but you can also get these on uh, the website. So this brand is called Goose Creek. I really, really like them. I love their fragrances. Um, I've had candles of theirs in the past and they have always performed very, very well for me. I haven't been able to find the candle form in my outlet stores, but I do find these wax melts pretty often. I found these today and this smelled so good that I literally picked up all the ones that they had in the store because I I, I understand FOMO. <laughs> I am the queen of FOMO. I If I find something I like, I buy backups and it's a horrible, horrible habit. If you guys could see my wax collection, it would make you sick but I also have a very large house and I have home fragrance going 24 7 so I mean I use it you know I'm just trying to justify things just work with me here so anyway this is by Goose Creek this is what their wax melts kind of look like they're in this circular shape this one is in the scent lemon vanilla cake batter this smells so good <laughs> I want to say I picked up seven of these I think that's all they had left was seven but I would have bought more this smells exactly like lemon bars with graham cracker crust on them. This is absolutely delicious. It is not a like false cleaner lemon kind of scent. It's a very sweet lemon curd scent. And you get that very strong like graham cracker crust on there. Oh, it's so, so good. Now I will say if these are available on Goose Creek's website and you missed out on the Scentsy Bring Back My Bar in the scent Lemon Coconut Chiffon, these are very, very similar, very similar. I do actually prefer this one over the Scentsy one because this one I feel like has more of a rich buttery crust note to it where this one's very, um, I don't know, it's very subtle on the crust note. It's more of that lemon coconut. This is just lemon curd and graham cracker crust. It is divine. So if you missed out on the lemon coconut chiffon, see if Goose Creek has these on their website. And if they do, trust me, you won't be missing out on either one of them because they're both pretty damn similar. So I picked up a bunch of these. These were only $2 at my Gordman's. They're typically $4, I think, on Goose Creek's website, which still is really good for what they are. Um, but I like them at $2 better. Okay, I just tried to stand up, completely fell over because my legs are completely asleep, it's awesome. I still can't smell this. Um, this has not reached its full wax pool yet, which is concerning me because I need to go to freaking bed. I'm probably gonna shower and take off all my makeup and stuff and then come back up and see if it pulled out. It's almost there, but what's concerning me is that it's almost at a full wax pool and I still don't smell it, which don't really like that. I will say out of all the candles though, this one was the weakest as far as like the scent on cold. The rest of these are much stronger on cold than this one was. So this one might just have to go into a smaller area. Um, like I said, my house is huge as far as the ceilings. They're, they're vaulted like cathedral style ceilings. So scent really has to be potent in order to be able to kind of bounce off everything and get to my nose. <laughs> so I'm not 100% disappointed in this just yet because I'm gonna give it a couple different chances. I will put it in a smaller area. I will um, put it in my candle crock. We'll see what happens with that. But for now, so far, eh, not, not the greatest. Um, but yeah, that was my ridiculous haul. If you guys had any idea how many wax bars are around me right now, it didn't seem like maybe a lot. Well, I mean, it was a lot, but it didn't seem excessive maybe until you realize that I have probably like five or six backups of each. In fact, hold on, let me, let me just, let me, let me, let me just show you something here. Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's a little excessive here. So, well, hello, Jack. So I'm going to try to put all these away. Not that it's gonna happen because I don't have any room for these anywhere, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, let me know down below if you guys have a specific scent that you would like to see uh, fully reviewed on my channel. And I'm gonna go take a freaking shower and take off my freaking makeup and go to freaking bed. <laughs> I'm tired. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give me a thumbs up. If you lasted this long, kudos to you. I appreciate you. I love you. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.